For this week's Does It Really Work test, we're at the Hartford Fair. Heather Wynn, the director, joining me. And this product test this week was your idea. It was. We love our ice cream here at the Hartford Fair. And if this will give us a better cone, we want to know. That's what the maker of Thrifty Ice Cream Scoop claimed. The perfect ice cream cone every time you use it. To find out if it really works, we've come to the Hartford Ice Cream Stand. And these pros scoop ice cream all day long. Now, they use traditional curved scoops to make their ice cream cones. Now, let's compare that to the Thrifty Ice Cream Scoop. Just place it inside the ice cream container, lift it out, and you're done. It's that simple. First thing we notice, eh, sometimes the ice cream wants to stick to the scoop making it harder to put in the cone. It doesn't really set in the cone too well. Um, it, it's just kind of sitting on top, so it would fall out really easily if you were to move it around too much. And it's difficult to get the ice cream down inside the cone. It's much easier with a traditional ice cream scooper, but we forge on. Triple Decker, can she do it? Can she do it? It is! Oh, that's tough. Oh, look at that. At times, we make some tall ice cream cones, but most of the people that use this device said the same thing. Is it hard to use? Uh, a little more clumsy than a regular scooper, I'd say. We agree. It's not easy to use as a regular scooper. But you know what they say, one person's trash is another person's treasure. So the cones that we made with Thrifty were given to some lucky onlookers at no charge. Those getting free ice cream cones today may give it thumbs up, but we don't. The ice cream scoopers here at the Harvard Ice Cream Stand give the thrifty ice cream scooper thumbs down. Kurt Aaron, Newswatch 16.